Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. For this video, we'll be going through an unboxing of the Real Grade Evangelion Unit 4. And this particular Ava kit is from the... I'll say it's from the rebuild of Evangelion film series. Even though we technically do not actually see Unit 4. But then we've never really seen Unit 4, at least not in the uh, animated sense. Uh, and this particular kit was released by Bandai uh, this year, this year being 2022. Now, despite the fact that the front of the box has colour, this, believe it or not, is a P Bandai. Hoping it wasn't ever going to happen with the Ava kits, but I guess it was bound to happen. And Unit 4 being Unit 4 probably wasn't that bad a choice for it because it really is just a color of unit 3 with a slight change in accessory. So I have had this recently come through to me, in fact when I was doing my real grade Ava series I did mention that unit 4 was on its way. So now that that series did come to a bit of its formal end and now that I've had unit 4 arrive I thought I would do the unboxing and slip it in with the rest of the Ava series and then Cross a few fingers as to when I'll do the actual build. So here we have the front of the box of Ava Unit 4, uh, this time sporting a more black and silver primary colour motif with a little bit of red. Looking at the actual image it is effectively a recolor of Unit 3, especially if you are quite familiar with the head stylization of Unit 3, you'll recognize that, uh, especially the uh, nasal armor, nose armor, nose bridge, either either, uh, is definitely very Unit 3 like. And I guess that's to be expected. Unit 3 and Unit 4 were created by the Americans, so I guess it made sense for them to probably be very closely visually the same. But anyway, we're not here to discuss the history of Ava Unit 3 and Ava 4. So front of the box, the usual real grade look. In terms of the bottom of the box, we do have some nice images on a bit more of a very plainer background. So we have a front and rear shot of Unit 4. We have some front shots of Unit 4 with the shield accessory, a articulated shot of Unit 4 with the shield. I don't know, especially looking at this particular image of the shield, it also reminds me of the shield that the Gundam Mark II has. I don't know why, it just has that weird vibe. At least for me anyway. In terms of the rest of the bottom of the box, we have a few shots of some different poses of Unit 4, mainly with some of the included weapons, which we have seen countless times. And then a list of all the accessories, so the hands are normal, powder rifle is normal, progressive knives are normal, umbilical cables normal, but the shield will be extra. The other side of the box, and then pretty much the top of the box. So now that we've seen the outside top of the box in terms of what is inside, this isn't our first Ava kit, so there will be plenty of bags and runners. I honestly don't remember how many to expect. I guess when I did the Unit 3 unboxing, it's probably going to be an indication. So in terms of bags, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, 11 bags worth runners. We do have a manual at the bottom. We'll find out in a few minutes if it's, well, less than a few minutes, but we'll find out shortly as to whether it looks like it would be equivalent to a. Well, put them there first. If the manual is effectively equivalent to a full retail manual, or being a P band eye, if it has trimmed out some of the unnecessary items from the manual we'll see very shortly and uh, yeah we'll have a quick look through the manual 
and I will try and fly through the runners because yeah it's just the recolor of unit three and with everything out of the bags and the box so yes there's definitely the usual number of runners in fact there might be a few extras on account of recolors but uh, we'll get there when we get there in terms of the manual standard real grade front of the manual so we just have a headshot of unit four in terms of the back or the decal locations across the unit and the accessories we do have a color chart at the bottom as usual as well so as we suspected unit four will be three different shades of silver throughout the body uh, black white and red and then there'll be some additional small supplementary colors throughout parts list we do have a nice little disclaimer at the top here in fact so i1 and ah parts come in two different colors please check the color carefully when assembling them so it's actually nice and i'm glad we do have a combination of the Japanese and English these days to call out some of those things. So we do have some of that here and yeah, you'll be able to double check based on what's been crossed out and what hasn't. We do have some information about AVA Unit 4. So if you ever do pick up this kit, I'd highly recommend reading it. Interestingly enough, I can see Carl's name being referenced. Um, hmm. So this is interesting. So if you're ever a bit of a um, a theorist, there is some information here um, that we don't necessarily see within the film series. I won't go into detail about it, but yeah, I would say if you do get a copy of Unit Four. Definitely have a read. It's going to be interesting. Standard build. So we won't go through this too much because it's just basically the same build process over and over, just in different colours. So standard body will be standard head. In fact, if you've built Unit 3, it's Unit 3 in silver, really. Legs are the same. We do have some information about the accessories, which is cool. Some of the actual images done as Unit 4. Still going through the legs, which is fine. We have the shield. Now it doesn't have any English in it. It is still on the Japanese text. So you can neither confirm nor deny what the information about the shield is. But it does look like there'll be some multiple places the shield can be held. And based on some of the art, well not artwork, but some of the articulation slash posed images, A or 4 might even be able to hold that with one hand. Going through the arms, which is fine. Pretty stock standard. Putting everything together. The entry plug and the weapons. And really the only real different weapon here is building the shield. So that was the manual. Didn't spend too much time on it because at the end of the day it's uh, basically a recolored unit 3. We do have one included decal sheet, which is hardly a surprise given what is on the back of the manual so that's not too bad before I forget about it because I usually do uh, the one very thick PVC cable so this will be for the umbilical power supply now in terms of the runners let's try and fly through them a runner is stock standard this time it's just in silver Uh, B1 runner, also stock standard, once again in silver. I will say now, I do apologise if this is going a bit fast. Um, but definitely check out a lot of the other real great AVA kits if you want a bit more of a slower version of the parts. Uh, the B2 runner, this time it is in black, which is probably a bit of a normal. But it's still the same B2 that we've seen many a time. We have the standard C runner in black as well. We've definitely seen this one plenty of times. 
standard D runner in black. This will be your legs and joints and things like that. Standard runner. And in fact, most of these will be standard runners. E in black. Uh, we have an F runner in, I dare say, a bit of a burgundy terracotta. We have two G's. G1 and G2. G2 does have a bit of an overlap. Uh, G2 is in black, G1 is in white. Still within the standard runners. We have two H1 runners in white. Carbon copy of each other. Basically your knuckles. We have a H2, still standard, in definitely a shade of silver. Not overly surprising. We do have two I1s, so we do know from the manual. So one I1 is in orange, one I1 is in purple, and I suspect you want purple. I suspect. So definitely be very mindful of that. We have I3 in that red, dark red tone. I3 is still pretty standard. J runner, multicolor J runner, a lot of red in the middle for the hands, a bit of black, that camo green, and a bit of white. It's very interesting seeing these hands in red for a change. You usually don't see them in this color. But that's still a standard runner, still going through the standard runners. K in silver, which I think K is always in silver. We have L in translucent red, which I think is always a given. Multicolor N silver and red which is fine it's pretty stock standard across all the avers a multicolor o silver and red still standard we have a r2 in a probably a, more of a darker silver and that actually brings us to an end of the standard runners in terms of the non-standard ones, so these ones were probably ones that we definitely would have seen with AV Unit 3. So we have AE1, which is in red to match the hands. So these are clearly hands that will probably be used to hold the shield. We have two AH runners, both are multicolored, but subject to which one, there is a difference between what is and isn't cut out. So. There are parts overlap between the two AHs, but there's also some color variation. So one version of AH has black, red, and silver. Or is it a gray? Could actually be gray. And the other version of AH is white, black, silver, and still black. So definitely be very careful with those. So we have two of those. And then lastly, definitely going to runners we haven't seen before. So AH1, this is exclusive to your shield and this will be in clear. Uh, I have no idea if that's already got a scratch on it. Maybe it does? No, maybe it's just how the plastic is. But that is one large piece of plastic. Granted on the runner, it doesn't feel too heavy, but interesting to see when the time comes. Uh, we have another AI2, this will be in silver, and then we have two AJs, which um, definitely more of a lighter silver. And that brings us to an end of the unboxing of Evangelion Unit 4. <coughs> A little bit quick on account of being a recolor of Unit 3. So definitely check out the Unit 3 video which might be a touch longer. Um, otherwise I'll definitely have links to the rest of the real build of Evangelion series um, for the different real grades that have had unboxings thus far. Thank you very much for watching this unboxing video. Feel free to leave a like, a comment, 
subscribe if you enjoyed the content. All of this does help support the channel and I do greatly appreciate it. Extra content can also be found on my Instagram account, link below. Stay safe and take care and I will catch you all in a future video. See ya.